o'clock and I'm about to go for a walk. Um, I got my coffee right here. I'm actually really excited. For once, I did the foamy milk, guys. I showed it on Instagram, but oh my god, I finally did it. I'm very proud of myself. I've been working hard to get some foamy milk. So I'm in such a good mood, so I'm gonna go for a walk. I actually have to pay some bills at the 7-Eleven, so I have a reason. I have not been going on my runs and my walks like recently because I was just way too sick, but my new treatment is like really helping, so I think I can get back into it. I hate these bushes. They always have something unwanted living in them. so loud. I paid half of my bills. I still have a couple more to go. That was just my credit card, phone bill, and the electricity. Got another iced coffee. I know. So it's time for breakfast. I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie. I usually make my green smoothies with the superfood greens from Teamy, but this time I have real greens for once. So I'm gonna be using some kale, spinach, a kiwi, one banana, and a half of an apple. not a green smoothie because like smoothies tend to be like thicker and icy i actually don't like blended drinks like icy blended drinks like frappuccinos stuff like that i like chew on it and it really hurts my teeth so yeah green juice breakfast let me try this because there's a lot of greens in here there's a goddamn spider on the window oh heck no Okay, he looks small, but he big as heck, and I know he didn't come up in this crib again. Why does these things happen to me is all I be trying to figure out. That's all I want to know. Oh my god, I can't even find a shoe. Oh, Jesus. Lost Joe. I'm so sorry for that. Before I was so rudely interrupted, back to breakfast. All right, so this is definitely really good. Because I used real greens, it's super duper filling, and I know this is gonna last me a while. Anyways, I'm getting ready to head out, so I'm about to let Douglas go run around this room and have fun, because if I go out for like a long period of time, every time I leave, I feel so bad. But I got errands to run. So I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna let Doug run around in the meantime, and then I'm gonna head out after my breakfast. So 
I'm finished getting ready, but before we leave, today's video is actually in collaboration with Nord Green. I have worked with them before in the past. Absolutely love them. They are a sustainable, ethical brand, like even their packaging, guys. So like this little felt part here is actually made from recycled materials. It's pretty amazing. Comes in this cute little box, which I think also would make a really cool gift. And it just like slides out right here. This is actually the new watch that I just got, but I know you guys have seen this one. I wear this one all the time. It's pretty much my like everyday watch watch and the straps here are actually made from vegan leather so norgreen offers scandinavian minimalist watches with interchangeable straps okay so this is their infinity watch and i got mine in rose gold it also comes with like an extra link just in case you need it and i got an extra strap this is also rose gold right here and i got it in white vegan leather i really think it's so cool to have vegan leather not only are they a sustainable ethical brand but they're also like always giving back they have all these amazing programs providing clean drinking water to 11,600 households, educating children, and preserving the rainforest. So from November 21st to December 1st, they are having an amazing Black Friday sale. If you use my discount code, which is Sunday35, you guys can get 35% off the entire website. Make sure to use my code because you'll get the biggest discount value from their site this year, even bigger than discounts on their official website. So yeah, I chose this one because it's like super duper elegant and like a little bit more, I don't know, high class. I think I will wear this on like special occasions or something. And I can't wait to see what it looks like with the white vegan leather strap. I think that will be so, so cute. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have a link in the description box. You can go check them out. Highly recommend. Beautiful watches. Sustainable, ethical company who gives back to the world. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Link in the description box if you guys are interested. And yeah, I'm going to go run some errands. Okay, so I'm actually about to head out and run some errands. Um, There's a couple of places that I actually need to go to. I think it's a little bit too cold for this t-shirt, so I'm going to change to a sweater. I'm going to be wearing the angel sweater from my shop mood global if you guys are interested. <laughs> Oh, that's bright. All right, so I changed. I'm wearing the angel sweater that is in my shop. I freaking love this one so much. It's such a weird, like, gray color. I don't know. It's like a, a gray purple. Anyways, we are going to Nitori. If you don't know what Nitori is, it's basically like the Ikea of Japan. So I want to go look at some furniture. Um, I have some other errands to run, but I think that's going to be boring. boring. I'm just looking, okay? I'm not buying anything. I'm trying to get some ideas, some inspiration. I don't know. I'm getting rid of all of my furniture soon. And yeah, I gotta think about what I want to put in there. Also, Ash wants to look around, so I'm gonna meet up with him in a little while and hopefully trick him into getting something unhealthy to eat with me. Also, do you like my new mask? It's GG. like shopping center area um they have oh i see it it's huge Woo! -hoo! i'm getting old why am i excited to go to a furniture shop you know you in a rich neighborhood when they just got dog washing stations just anywhere like look at what is this bruh okay i have a confession i've actually never been here before Contrary to popular belief, Japanese people absolutely love Christmas. They do not celebrate it though, not the right way anyways. Christmas is actually like more for couples over here, but they love decorating. So like Christmas over here, be lit, like literally. Oh yes, oh yes, kitchen stuff. What is this? Oh, it's a gigantic grill. This is dope. I knew coming in here was kind of a bad idea. Like if you ain't trying to spend no money. I need it. Why? What do you mean why? Also, if you come to Japan, like, this is the gift to get. Japan makes some of the best knives in the world. The number one one that I know of is called Global. They look like this, kind of, but it'll say Global on it. Do you really just say, ooh, at a strainer? Ooh. Oh, God, I need this. Or do I? If you hate on one of my bad decisions one more time, we gon' fight. Gumbo pot dreams over here. Holy poop. Ooh, it has sparkles in it. Oh, snap, they got biscuits. Okay, 
shiny toy, okay? I'm actually impressed. That is so girly. Why did you grab that? Oh, it's even pink. Me. Don't lie. Just look at it. Don't lie. It's made of. Tell us the truth. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really cool candle. Kiss my own butt. Okay, now this is exciting. I freaking love fake plants. Because I be killing the real ones. Are you supposed to be getting here? Nothing. I thought you had something to get. I was just looking for a thing next to my desk, but I don't have it. I'm not, I'm not worried. That's not nothing. A little, I don't even know what to call it. Like a thing that goes next to my desk with drawers. A dresser? Japanese people, they be trying to get you. So you'll see this online like, ooh, a couch. Mm -hmm. And a Japanese person be sitting in it, but it be tiny. Actually, that's an armchair, boo-boo. Why get a pet when you can get a pet pillow? I swear I was made for commercials. This is actually the exact stupid couch. I tried to think of a word. I hate that I don't cuss. The worst word I can come up with was stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> but yeah, this couch is stupid. I got bamboozled. Bought it online on Amazon. What? Bought it online on Amazon. Bought it online on Amazon. Bought it online on Amazon. I had a Japanese woman sitting on it. I was like, oh yeah, that's a nice size couch. Nice. No, yeah, it's, not, it's not very big. I love this. Let me make you a bowl of ramen. You thought I was gonna say cocktail. Hmm? <laughs> I'm getting Goldilocks and the Three Bears vibes. Bruh. Who eating porridge at this table? Yeah. It has to be my favorite thing I've found so far, but like, why you gotta be $18? Like, dang. Only in Japan do they yell at you to get into the store. Like, if anything, it's doing the opposite. Anyways, we're done now. We're gonna go get some food. But like, Nitori had a lot of stuff in there. Like, I gotta come back. I didn't, I didn't really feel like carrying nothing, and I really just came to look and get ideas. But yeah, I need to go back there. They got spam masubi. We are eating outside. It's so pretty right now. Like the weather is so perfect. I got spam asubi with some kind of special chicken and I also got chicken tacos, which are taking a little while and some guava juice. Clearly I didn't learn my lesson because there's more cat treats and I'm telling you, if you put a cat on something, I'm gonna buy it. Look at the packaging, it's so cute. <gasps> I don't know what I want. Cat pudding, cat cake. Yeah, free. Okay. Thank you. This is so cute. It has like strawberry preserve at the bottom and then they fill it with milk. That sounds good too. Oh, Japan is just not the place to be dieting. <laughs> Okay, these are the cutest donuts ever. Oh, they have a Christmas one. So we're in like the pet store and they legit have like human snacks for dogs. Pastries, uh, y'all just gotta see this. Really? Really? And popcorn. Picking up some uh, little balls for my new pet, Timothy. Uh, I heard that you can train them to fetch and if you buy these, like it works. So I'm gonna try it out and try and teach them how to fetch. So it is dinner time, and yes, I, your ramen queen, have been avoiding eating ramen. I just don't want to eat it while I'm on like a diet because it's so hard to jump back into eating healthy food after I have ramen. Like that's the one thing that would just trigger me into eating really, really unhealthy food. Like I can't just have one bowl of ramen. I just can't. I don't know why. It's like crack. 
you gotta have more. Not as if tacos and spam masubi and everything else was not cheating. It is, but I can bounce back very easily from that. It's just, it's hard to bounce back from ramen. Another reason why I just have to have ramen right now is because this area has this super famous garlic ramen from this shop with this one old guy who runs it. It's so fire. I've showed it. Why is it dark as heck? I've showed it on my channel before. It's so delicious and it's really far from my house. So like, I don't really want to pass that up. Another reason why I like really want to go to this spot is because he only opens from 7, which is so crazy. 7 p.m. until like 3 a.m. So it's like really hard to actually go here. extra garlic and ground sesame seeds. so fire but it's so funny because like on like places like google and places where you review restaurants he has sometimes has bad ratings not because of the food but because of his attitude like apparently he's mean and cold and doesn't greet customers and blah 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 it's so funny because he's so nice to ash <laughs> we always have a conversation <laughs> like he won't talk to his customers he don't talk to people but he'll talk to ash and everybody look over like at the counter like who is this dude oh, he must be a rugby player or something somebody famous get this old man to talk but he's so nice he always like compliments me and he talks and he's like be careful about the rona and he's so nice he's always so dang nice he make me want to learn like fluent japanese just so i can sit there and talk to this man i think he knows that i'm a true ramen lover he he can sense it like y'all not just here to eat this, this is your passion <laughs> 